Hey guys, how you going? My name is Dom and today I want to demonstrate how to use the Fetch API to retrieve some JSON for your web application. Okay, so essentially the Fetch API is going to do two things. It's going to first make the request to retrieve the JSON file and then it's going to take the JSON contents and parse it as a regular JavaScript object. Okay, so um, I've got here in my text editor an index.html file and also a people.json file right in the same directory. Okay, so we have here just a regular JSON object with a date and um, some people in an array. Okay, so we're going to be retrieving this right here using the fetch API. So back inside the index.html file, let's go inside the JavaScript and firstly just make a new fetch request. Okay, so we're going to write fetch down here and pass in here people.json, so the URL of the JSON file. Okay, so once the request has came back and we have a response, this function inside here is going to be executed, so we have access to the response through the first argument. Alright, so the response contains a few useful methods, one of them being text and one of them being JSON. So we're going to use the JSON method on the response object um, to actually parse the JSON into a regular JavaScript object once it has been retrieved. Okay, so inside of this function, we're going to return response.json. So as I said, this is going to attempt to convert the the body of the response, which in this case is going to be JSON, it's going to interpret it as JSON and try to convert it to a JavaScript object. It will then return a new promise. Okay, so in this new promise, we have a then, and this function inside here has access to the actual parsed JavaScript object. Okay, so we have that right there as the first argument. Okay, so now we have the actual object. I can then simply just say console.log and print out the object. Alright, if anything went wrong during the whole process, we're going to use the catch method down here and we're going to simply just print out the error. So we can just say console.error, something went wrong with retrieving the people. Now this could be a network error or it could be a JSON parsing error. Okay, so I'll just console.error the error. Okay, so I can now save this and now refresh my browser and we should see the object in the console and we get it right here. Okay, so it worked nice and well. Okay, so let's say I was to accidentally make a mistake inside my JSON. So if I get rid of that and cause a, an actual error in the JSON syntax, and now refresh the browser this time, um, we see here we get the error. So um, something went wrong and we have a syntax error here. Unexpected token um, curly brace in JSON. So um, that is the catch working. All right. And that right there is how you can retrieve JSON using the fetch API. Thanks for watching and I will see you later.